Welcome back, guys, to Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, where last episode, after a spot of fusion, we moved on to our next fiend of the return of the true demon quest line, facing off against the Hell Biker. We then attempted to face Mara head on, being pummeled prematurely by the pugilistic penis, as we now go for a second try to see if we can last longer this time. Does Mara always go first? Okay, now I get to have a go. Maybe just because I was ambushed. It's 47. Here. Okay, well obviously it chums. So let's see what it actually has. Fear of death. While an armor Katoki effect is active, uses attacks with positive skill potential to increase damage and may insta-kill. Oh, so that's what it did. It has armor Katoki insta-kill. Okay, fine. <laughs> Now we know why I died. It probably wasn't that strong. It just has a skill that ends the fight instantly. Hellfrust ignores affinity resistance and pierces through. Okay, so we couldn't physically block him. Unless he was using Megaton Press. We could probably do it there. Toxic Spray lowers defense rank by one for three turns. Dance of Mara, a chance of inflicting charm that is very high chance of insta-kill when target is afflicted with charm. So it doubles up on the instant kill. Megaton Press, heavy physical attack to all foes, low accuracy, and it has Poison Master as well, so the poison does more damage. What on earth, Mara? It is indeed weak to ice. How do I cover my own weakness? I'd have to change Essence. This is the only way through it, surely. Or just make it so Mara can't hit me. That would probably help too a lot. Lowering your attack as well might be pretty good, but it's the instant kill you've got to watch out for. I'd say passing is probably a good idea. How's this? I feel like Bowler Hajir would be pretty good, but how are we going to get control of this fight at all? I'm not even sure we can. By God, I can't get stats affected, right? Maybe it's just going to be me guarding the entire time. If it can't hit me, I might be better off. Okay, so if I didn't guard that, I would have died. <laughs> I would 100% have died if I did not guard. I feel like I need someone that's immune to charm, which is Narcissus. And can me Patra, okay. That probably wouldn't be bad having. Um I need someone who can hit with Bufu too, which is King Frost basically. And Quetzalcoatl can as well? No. I kind of would need something that resists physical. I have a feeling that this fight is pretty much over before it's began. Come. I feel like I'd have to lower his attack a bit, but with the criticals coming out and all... It's great. I can't just have you here to just essentially... Use me Patra. That was kind of useless, actually. You're done. <laughs> Having extra health would really help right now. I think I think like this is just not gonna work. <laughs> Even if I were to guard right now, like I can't guard because I've used stuff. I have kind of met my match very early on. This will do. We might have to come back for more.
Okay, so now everything he does is redonk. <laughs> Here. I have to recover the poison. Essentially, I'm looking at guard times three, surely. Secunda's going away, you know. You are done. Someone actually got blocked that. So, oh, okay, so if I block Charm out right, I don't get followed up by the attack. That's nice to know. I just want you to pass. Listen, okay, so Narcissus being here with me, Patro, isn't terrible then. We can actually go now. To a certain degree. I can't afford to fail. Think you're so much better than a demon? So if Narcissus blocks the attacks, I can at least do something from here on out. What it's doing to me is horrendous. So that poison, if I do not cure it, will absolutely wreck me. <laughs> I need to actually pre-prime with essences for this. But I kind of got to use this too. Well, right, let's see if it uh, how much it... Wait, if I use Omakotoki critical, that counts as a turn for poison to tick? What? Wow! Behold! I'm trying to look at here how I can actually deal with this from this locate from this situation. I would have to restore myself again. Did I forget to meet Patra? Oh God! You idiot. Mipatra would have been the right turn on that turn. Can't leave the poison on you. It's like I am ridiculously being destroyed at this point. Having a weakness to it as well really doesn't help. Beautiful. So what can you really do here, Yoko? I think you just have to straight up again. Heal all this. Blocking him following up on that turn, which is not bad for us. If I could get a pass. Behold. It's like we're barely staying around a state of relatively alive is how I put it. Now I'm mad. I really need this defense debuff to go away. The fact that he's only done it on me as well. This will do. It's just an absolute dick move all the time here. If I managed to win this, I'd be surprised. Because Sorry. that can happen. 
At any time, Megaton Press could just pop out and kill someone. <laughs> well, that's Yoko done. Guess we could add another ice guy in. So, like, there's a definite press turn on the list. Uh, I would like to keep debuffing this guy, though. In some way to make things not hit me. That would be nice. Do you have... You have Matoro Kaja, which is attack down. That's attack up, damn it. I mean, Tau exists, but... Tau would probably be absolutely wiped out. Is it better to debuff him or buff me? Ain't that the question right now? These criticals are basically causing instant deaths. Let's go! That's my other item user. So if you know what I mean, that's not actually that good. Even with the extra health, I don't really think we get anywhere. My Magasuhi is building up. Oh, you went for a different target, especially one like in Mipatra. To begin with is actually tasty. I can work with this. Short buffs are even really helping me. Think you're so much better than a demon? <laughs> it does one shot anyone it hits. Right, unfortunately, that is our demon that can uh, block charm. <laughs> so, with that out, uh. <laughs> With that one out, uh... <laughs> Macabre has Meepatra as well, I guess. And Hellish Mask. Also has Fangbreaker. Your turn! Go! Lowering Mara's attack could be pretty helpful. I've got full defense up, uh, full, uh, full dodge, even though that doesn't really help. I'm wondering if I should very deliberately uh, recover an ally. <laughs> In the background here. <sighs> Let's go. Running out of health there, really. Rise, rise. Oh, we blocked poison! <laughs> What's the reset to feast? Lowers all stats to the minimum for all foes for free turns. Could that be the goal? Oh, I think doing damage is fine, lowering his attack. Well, I'm not sure. I think what we're just getting hit by is the instant kill, right? Half health. Another attack down. We're obviously going to have to use Masuka Kaja on one of these turns anyway. Uh, Bakula. Back to me. What can you do, Macab? Apart from the Fangbreaker, we haven't given you any good stuff. The Black Derico Strike is your best attack, and he resists that in part. I mean, it's two to four, and it's got a chance of inflicting poison. They're all going to critical, right? If we got the poison. We'd been we'd been loving it. 
we were never going to get it really. I even think buffing defense is good. I wonder if I switch out Parvati for our friend, but I don't even know if that will really help. <laughs> if I could survive to another Makatsuhi charge. I think things will be... We are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are in a little less trouble now. What could I do to survive? Oliz needs to basically take another go. So we we're going to have to sacrifice someone anyway at this rate. So it's going to use the Pierce Fizz. So it's going to crit someone. Oliz needs to guard because it stops criticals, I think. If it hits Oliz, then we lose anyway. Just steals increased damage and may insta-kill. It's just ridiculous. I reckon it will it'll obviously be Hellfrust got the high dodge up. That's the best I can really hope for, isn't it? That's the best I can really hope for. So I think Oliz gets another go here. Now I'm mad. We'll buff our health and guard. We're just me, so everything else dies, and then we're down to one person. Okay. Our attack debuffer has died. Let's go. That's not good. All right, Pavani is out of MP, so now he's actually useless. Uh, so if you're useless now, who do we switch? Kind of need Narcissus to have some health. <laughs> if only we had someone that... I mean, of course you can come in to do some stuff, but... Uh, got me Patra, haven't you, Narcissus? Uh, <laughs> well, you're completely useless. Alice? I mean, at least Alice could hit with that, but... 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 I kind of would like someone with a high... Vitality. Sukuna Hikona, I'll get in. Your turn! Go! We are doing zero damage. And even when I guard... Good things don't really happen for me, do they? We didn't do anything. We blocked this. It actually missed everyone! Sukuna Hikona can at least get a press turn. What does more damage? He big now! 
Oh, it's drooping. No one died! <laughs> Okay, so Tao's got the bad. So Narcissus me Patras, Tao heals. Yeah. Although I lo will lose I can help. my buff. My beautiful, beautiful dodge buff is going away. But if I can survive another turn. I probably just have Amagatoki Critical and I win. Sakuna so Kakuna didn't even die! That was straight up dodged! We beat it! It's time! It is time! <laughs> Don't jinx it. Yeah, actually, someone could miss. <laughs> Behold. As long as Olive gets a second turn, we win. We can't lose. Freeze and turn I froze it. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, a Calamity Sutra and Mars Essence is obtained. Yikes. Wait, Mars Essence could be pretty good, to be honest. Sakuni so Akona leveled up from that. Gains charge. Shush. Oh. I don't know about you, but that was a bit, uh, that was a little stressful. Why charge? Why am I putting that on? I don't even know. Yes! Namudo for Daisoju. Daisojo. I'll take off the Agaleo, which is kind of crap for you. <laughs> I have thought we'd keep going at it till kingdom come. Oh, so you are an Ahapino. <laughs> If such is the case, then why attempt to prevent me from finishing my duties? <laughs> Just as divided knowledge and life are incomplete, so too must man not be uncoupled from his desire. I believe you and Nahabina would understand this. I understand. Sure. <gasps> oh, so you already understand the importance of desire without my having to pound it into you! Then you must too must be one who lives as your desires dictate. Then this friction between us is simply the result of your desires ramming into mine. <laughs> very good, very good. Obtain two small glory crystals for understanding desires? Hmm. That demon from before. He was talking about desire, but what was he really trying to say? Well... His choice of words aside, it seemed he was trying to discuss the merits of desire. Desire. It's not uncommon for people to think of greedy or lustful sentiments as sinful, particularly in religious circles. But still... But isn't desire ultimately what motivates us to do anything? The whole world has developed the way it has out of a desire for better lives. But but that desire can also hurt others, and even ourselves. Yes. yes, it can, but such consequences aren't inherent. It's too extreme to label the fundamental nature of desire itself as sinful. What you want to do, what you will do, and what will result, it's our responsibility to consider all those things. It isn't right for anyone to unilaterally decide what's good and what's evil. <sighs> if something is deemed purely evil, the people would be robbed of their freedom to decide. That is, if they don't first abandon that freedom themselves. No. I... I disagree. If everyone did whatever they wanted, the world would be a mess. That's why we need things like order and laws, right? Yes. You're right. That's the way things are in this world. But that's this world. Yoko. Um? Um? I really need to return to the Nailine font. Well, we definitely took a pummeling. <laughs> Wasn't wrong there. Thank you, Narcissus. You helped us through. I limped through that fight, as far as I'm concerned. But I guess limping through isn't that bad. I don't need to come to Cadaver's no. Hollow. What? <sighs> That's the um, 
Welcome to the A true fiend. Maris I you think usually a very end game demon, so I would have thought we'd just continue trucking on past it rather than fight it then and there. But that's what we ended up doing. So what is Mara's Essence? It has a absorb lightning, half resist to light and f dark, and is only weak to Bufu. It's a level 67 essence, so a normal Mara would be 67. In terms of skills it has that I can even inherit. Can I inherit Hellfrost? No, obviously you can't. Yeah, sure. Hey, yes, I can. Heavy physical attack to one foe. Ignores affinity resistance and pierces through. Also, Megaton Press. Toxic Spray. Dance of Mara obviously can't be, which would be amazing if it was. Very high chance of insta-kill when targets flick with charge at charm, after all. Uh. I could have Hellfrust. That is an option. However, still on the affinity list of essences we want to get. I still think... Oh, I keep fixing my thing. I still think that is maybe better. I mean, it's two nulls. Plus, hopefully, a resist to resist that. An absorb is great. But a reflect is good too, with a full null. I don't know which one of these two you'd think would be better. Depends if we could get, like, a null frost, I guess, off someone's affinity. If that is an option, then it would be the same difference to a fair degree. Well, let's have a look through our essence list, actually. It's a fairly good thing to do. We'd have to look through skills, of course. So I haven't, don't think I've seen a null versus a resist yet for anyone. It's all been resist, so I think we'd have to wait for a little bit longer. And it would probably be on the next tier of things. But if we could get it, It'd be very good for us. Yes, I mean, we can easily get resist ice now. But no would be better. To take it now or to not? Oh, yes, you're right. This is the also the other thing to look at. We're not thinking about just blocking... Uh, yeah, okay, yes. So that is a superior essence. Because blocking charm is amazing. I think we will take this on. How is this? Changing our weaknesses and then taking on resist. Ah, One day I'll press this correctly. Taking on a resist ice or something to fix us, you could say. Where do I go to from here? Was this dark? I definitely saw it on someone. It was somewhere around here. Now I'm stuck going around in circles. I saw it. Well, this is now Mara. Well, it's somewhat like a really... There he is, Foth. Thank you, Foth. That's great. So, of course, we'll have our master, Sakanagi, Ruinous Thunder. To be honest, I should maybe take... Let's mix some things around. Instead of Ruinous Thunder, after all. Agi, we have Root Soul. We had Resist Fire, but we could leave that out and just go Resist Ice. We got a Null to Charm, so I no longer have to deal with that anymore. And apart from that, I could go... I'll, I'll keep Resist Fire for now, but I'll get rid of it. How is this? So there we go. Much better resistances overall. But if I could take the Valkyrie Storm Draco Strike instead of Ruinous Thunder, I think that would be better. Because building from our strength stat versus our magic stat, it should end up doing a lot more damage. So let's give ourselves a little bit extra stuff. That Rooted Soul, I think I should probably need to get rid of that soon. It's good. But not that great? I don't know. Could do a little better. Critical wave might not be a bad idea either. We get into one weakness at the moment. I'll keep resist fire on and lose How my Agi. 
And then do we have anyone else with a Draco Strike that we could just take? A Black da Draco Strike? Could take that instead of the Resist Fire. Get into a Dark Weakness. Is there any other Draco Strikes we might have in the moment? Like a Fire one? Not sure if Counter is the way. Or a Bufu. Like an Ice Draco Strike would be really good right now. Looks like there's not really any in the way of Draco Strikes further on, and we're going to have to move forward to see them. The only one other one we could take at the moment is Black Frost, Black Draco Strike. So I will leave it for now, and to be honest, I quite like a nice one. Well, there we go. I don't think I can fuse Mara now because of that. <laughs> but someone just became available to fuse, if you see there. Bless your Lebelus. Return when There was a white Draco strike? Well we have someone who kinda of covers that in Tau. So That's fine for us not to necessarily have him right now. So let's have Kumhanda back. And maybe have Yoko back in them. Okay. All I can say about what we've been through is, phew, I made it. We still haven't even handed in the quest yet. I received word of Mara's extermination, though I cannot say that I approve of your ideals. The fact remains that Mara has been eliminated. I last recognize the deed you have carried out. You obtained five critical gems. <laughs> Did you ask me to just talk to Mara instead? <laughs> Tower levels up. <laughs> you have heretofore risked your life granting my request, yet have wished for nothing in return. I applaud your devotion, for it is the virtue I most esteem. I lust deem you worthy of borrowing my power. I permit you to call upon me when the time comes that you wish to destroy your enemies. Herald Almighty has become unlocked for fusion. That is all. I have no clue how this came up for episodes now because uh, it's going to be all messed up for timing, I admit. Mara was a challenge that we really, really had to overcome. Fiend, easy, dick chariot, nightmare. Well, to be honest, that's why I passed him by the first time, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's indeed why I didn't engage. <laughs> I'm saving again now because of that. There is a reason. Oh. Why something should be left to live. A commando that's going first. Oh, I'm just... Don't kill me. Don't just randomly kill me. Oh, we can use our Storm Draco Strike. Definitely more damage than Thunderous Ruin. Just a far less cool animation. No criticals hit yet. Okay, you are weak to Zen, which is an interesting one because Kumhanda does actually have Zen. And I can hit your lightning weakness, so I'll take the turn. Draco Strike doesn't look bad, though, does it? Oh, Zamma. Ah. Well, I'd rather pass the turn down the order in that regard. It'll be critical wave, he just he's critical wave and then he crits on us. Okay, it turns out we're totally fine. <laughs> Runa's Thunder look way more impressive, but can't argue with damage numbers, yeah. <laughs> Playing into our strength is better.
King Frost is going to give me an ice shot. Storm off. Learns purple smoke. They struck us unawares. Well, at least it was a Mitama. If it wasn't, it would have been bad. But because it was, we're fine. 